Hi, this is Rich Smith from Simscape. Here's my screencast on selection in Cadium. Cadium is an integrated simulation environment for computational fluid dynamics, or CFD. The selection of geometry and other entities in Cadium underpins everything we do, so keep watching for some helpful selection techniques. To make a single selection, you simply take the cursor where you want to select the geometry or the entity and press the right button and if that's the one you want you're done let go select that face in the select dialog by either double clicking or clicking OK and select its properties to make a change that you wish say make it transparent for instance in this case and we put it back also, when we're making a selection, whether it's single or multiple, we don't have to be particularly accurate when we first make the selection. So say, for instance, we wanted the longer face here. Um, we can simply keep the right mouse button pressed and move the cursor to the position we want, and it will flip through the various pieces of geometry until we get to the one we want. And then when we let go, the current highlighted entity will be the top entity in the list. Now if that wasn't the one we wanted maybe there was a related one somewhere else and these will be behind this one then uh, we can also select them we have a moment and while we're there we can also select just the edges of that face or just the vertices um, so you have like a topological uh, list of further entities that you can select once you have made a, an initial selection. Also you can select not only the lower topology but also the higher topology. So in this case we could select the face, the volume that that face is a member of. And also we see that right down here at the bottom in this selection dialog the groups that that face is a part of. So we see car and the car nozzle and again we can select those if we want. Okay. Next I want to cover multiple selections, so let's just clear the selection first by clicking on the background and clicking simulation, which basically means no entities are now selected. Um, so we want to say s select this circular face here and this circular face. Now how do we do that? Well we make a single selection first, as we did before. We click, the f we click on the face with the right hand button, up pops the select dialog, we double click that face at the top of the list and then we use the option in this menu select deselect and so we want this face to, in addition to the other one and so we make another selection again with the right hand mouse button and now we have the two faces that we want so if I double click that face notice now as well the group option on this menu is now highlighted if I wanted and I will we can create a group of these two faces okay now we have a group. Whenever we select that face, we will find, if, as I will now, that we also have an option not only to see that, that face, but also to see the group it's a member of. And that, that previous group we just had or made was uh, group 6. So you can see this is another way how to, having made a multiple selection, actually remember it and use it again later. Okay, so that's how we do multiple select. And another option with multiple select is to actually use that technique to reduce the selection. Instead of adding to the selection each time, we can actually remove an entity from a selection. So we have, let's get the group selected we had before, group six. Okay, now if we wanted, we can now remove one of these circular faces from the current selection by simply selecting it again. So it basically toggles that circle out of the out of this current selection, still in the same group. Okay. And now we're left with the single face that we started with. Okay. Um another way to have a multiple selection is to 
you have a current selection, so we have this current circular face. Now let's try adding this circular face to this current selection. And we do that by pressing the control key and then making the left click selection, sorry, the right mouse key selection as before. But this time this will be added to the current selection because we have the control key pressed. And now we have two selected as we wanted. Now another variation on selection is once we're selecting these faces um, we're pretty clear that each time we make the selection we want basically the first face in the selection dialog list which is what is known as the primary selection and rather than having to keep using the select dialog to confirm this primary selection we can actually dismiss that dialog automatically and not see it and so we do that by pressing the shift key so let's make a selection of this rectangular face here and we know that's the face we want so we don't need to confirm it so I'm now pressing the shift key and I've made the selection again with the right mouse key down and I'm now letting go and notice we don't get the select dialog we just go directly to the properties menu Next I want to cover actually using the select dialog a little bit differently or showing out showing some of the features that it, it possesses. Um, so if we want to select say a a, the entire set of entities in a given simulation first of all we need to get the simulation dialog up which essentially you get by clicking on the background in empty space. So here we have the simulation dialog essentially and here we have the whole list of volumes, faces, edges that we are now multiply selecting as we go through this list. Now if we wanted to just select say a set of faces, um, a, a small, small range for instance, say from this face down to here, then using the standard Windows uh, hotkey to select a range, you press the shift button and then click on this face with this time the left mouse button and we now have a range of faces. Likewise, using the standard uh, hotkeys, we can also select, multiply select, other uh, faces in this list using the control key and the left mouse button, as I'm doing now. And so now we have this selection. We can just say OK. And now it's like any other multiple selection. And just to show, you can see that of the faces that we had we've made them transparent and we can undo that okay so it's also quite common to need to make a selection as you are also dragging a tool into a view window say we want to look at the contours on some of the surfaces here of uh, the pressure coefficient CP so we start the drag as normal we drag it over to the entity that we're interested or entities let's let's select a few so we select first of all this face we let go we confirm that we want to make another selection this time we want to do this rectangular face here we select again and we keep going through this multiple select option here and we select the next face, confirm, and then once we're done we can either make a group so we can save that for later and then we can then color map those three faces we've just made as you can see now. So this selection, the selection techniques I've shown without the tool all work uh, exactly the same as with a tool so you can make groups you can multiply select, you can add to a selection, subtract from a selection as I showed before. Um, so it's quite a versatile system. Okay, the final selection technique I want to show is related specifically to particles where we have to make two selections. We have to first select the seed from where we're going to release the particles and then we have to set the target through which the particles will pass and so what we'll do is we take velocity 
we're going to drop velocity onto this edge here edge now the edge is now going to serve as the seed we'll select that and now we have to set the particles target so we select particles target we want to select the entire volume so we just need to select an entity in that volume to get the volume so we get this face and you can see then we can find the volume double click that volume and we have the particles although we don't see them yet we need to change the increment so they get released better let's make that smaller values there we go and we want a few more steps there as well while we're at it and then that's basically the particles released from the trailing edge of that aerofoil over the car flowing past the car and then also while we have this selected we can color that uh, by producing the color map on the current selection and there we go we have the velocity magnitude color map thank you for watching this screencast on the selection techniques available in Cadium if you want to see more of Cadium and receive a free trial visit simscape.com